This is not your. Ooh. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Devil May Cry 5. So, I believe we are on the final chapter of this game, our final mission. And, uh, let's see what happens now that I believe that was Nero who interfered with Dante and Virgil. Okay, this is true power. Oh, a phone. June 15th, 427. Nero? Is that Kirie? Did something happen? Kirie. I hate that she's only a voice when character. She's not like kid, I, there. I was alone. You and Crater were all I knew. And now all of a sudden I find out I have a family. What am I supposed to do with that? You always know which path is right, and which is wrong. There's no need to doubt yourself. Thanks. I guess that's all I needed to hear. I have one last thing to take care of. Then I'm coming home. It is kind of awkward though, all of a sudden you have an uncle, you have a dad, I just, it's just weird because in a way Dante never said anything, till now. To this day, I hate myself for not having enough strength. No! But this time is different. Nero, yeah, you swear. sound like your dad! I'm not letting you die! Yeah! What? So he doesn't need the Yamato for it. He has his own. Oh my god. He has his own! That was the title screen! Like the wings and stuff? That's him! This is curious. Nero. Good, smack some sense into them, please, thank you. <laughs> what form of power is this? What the hell? Damn! This ends. Right here. <sighs> Listen to me. I told you already. This is not your- Whoa! You listen, dead weight. <laughs> I won't let you kill each other. There are other ways of settling your differences. I'm putting a stop to this sibling rivalry. <laughs> you came all this way just for that. Virgil, V, whatever you call yourself, Dante's not gonna die here, and neither are you. Do you have a problem with that? <sighs> not gonna die my ass. Oh, that bitch slap nearly killed me. <laughs> if I beat Nero, then by default, I beat you, agreed Dante. Whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> don't just say I have time for shit. shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh hell no. Oh god, I gotta fight him again! When this is over, I'll make you submit. Damn. Father. Holy crap! Oh god, it's starting. Stand down. Do with me. It has everything to do with me. Yeah. 
Uh, press to- hang on, I- I, I gotta press something, hang on. <laughs> is that- is that really his attack? Fuck you! Oh my god, I'm dying. Shit. Oh god. Oh, uh, press R2 near a staggered enemy. Uh, near a staggered enemy will to perform a buster. Powerful move. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you take that, Virgil. You've been a bad father. Oh, God. Hang on. <laughs> oh, my God. This is crazy. Oh, shit. Stop moving! God damn it, Virgil! Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, I'm fucking dead. That's his fucking <laughs> devil trigger gauge is fuck you! <laughs> oh god. Hang on, I gotta I gotta take it back a bit. I take it back a bit. If I had Virgil, I'd be very proud if this was my side. Like, damn, he's powerful, you know what I mean? But you know, Virgil's not satisfied with that. He always wants it for himself. Selfish bastard. <laughs> I can't believe that's an attack for that. It's so dumb. What are you doing? I don't want to. I don't want to prepare. I don't want to prepare. Oh god, he's doing this again. Okay. Oh, he got me. He got me. I timed it wrong. <laughs> Stop moving! God damn it, Virgil. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, hang on. Oh god. I'm not good at this. Oh god, not again. Dying on numbers won't do you any good. Oh god. Wrong one, I got the fake one. Got you! Boom. He got him with the Yamato. Interesting. God, I still like knocked out. <laughs> oh, brother. You cut off your own son's arm for more power, and you still lost. <laughs> Enough, damn it! The underworld is taking over. We need to do something before it's too late. Uh oh. Um. He's right. We need to close that portal. Hey, you lost, so you better do what he says. Is he gonna do it though? I can still fight. Oh God, Virgil, shut up! But if those roots continue to spread through town, it'll just interfere with our business. Good, uh, you're still smart. Okay. Uh, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> Better hurry up. We still got a score to settle. Evidently. Wait, Wait. Good. where are you going? We need to sever the Clyphod roots from the underworld itself. Then we'll seal the portal with the Yamato. Hang on. If you do that, you can't come back. Why do you think I'm going? Somebody's got to keep an eye on your old man. <laughs> you can't just expect me to stay here while you both go It's and... because you're here, we can go. We're trusting you with things on this side. Capiche? Make haste, Dante. Yeah. I know. That's kind of funny. He just met his dad and knew that he was his uncle, and now he can't... He's gonna be separated from them. Oh! Hey, 
Take care, Nero. Adios. Oh no, my Dante, no! I mean, I guess we always saw this coming, right? Nero would, I like, take time. over the game. Hold on to that until then. They are idiots. That's really sad though. He just realized that's his family. Now he's just like, now they're leaving me again. Or they're leaving me. And like, Virgil... I'm, I'm glad he's smart enough to stop to be like, yeah, we can't continue fighting because the whole demon world's gonna take over. So at least he's still... Somewhat in the right mind, you know, so uh, uh. Hey, I'm still in freaking shock about what uh, duh. Your arm? Ooh, yeah, it was an arm back. It's just weird. It's like a lizard tail or something Look, I don't know. It just grew. I mean, are you kidding me? Lots of weird stuff happened. There were demons and scary Yeah, he has planets. a point and arms growing back. Lots of stuff. Do you know how much love and care I put in that devil breaker? <sighs> nope. This arm... It's nice. Cause it's an actual arm. So, uh, how's it feel? How's what feel? Saving the man who killed your own father. Heard Dante killed Virgil once. It doesn't matter. They're both gone now anyway. I don't think so. It's okay to cry. If you want, Nero, over a loss. Not cry. It doesn't make you look crappy. <laughs> it does make you a little bitch, though. <laughs> you think I'm a demon? I didn't cry when my asshole daddy died. But... Yeah, I know, I know. I wouldn't be here without him, that's a biological fact. Mm-hmm. Right. All I'm saying is, tough guy, it's okay to cry if you want. Yeah, you hear that, everyone? It's cry. okay if you want to cry. cry. I'm not gonna Kids cry. cry. Will you no. shut up? Will you stop? <laughs> Look at you. You're no, nobody's nobody cry crying. All right. Stop Got saying cry. Cry my shoulder. I know you, you wanna. Say cry again. <laughs> They're so the stupid. I love them. You oh. said it. Hey, idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm coming home. Oh yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but I got a surprise for you. Oh yeah. Surprise, go over. <laughs> surprise. You shut up. No, 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 Kitty, not you. Nico, you know, and a big mouth. What the hell's your problem? Where'd you learn to drive? <laughs> hey, uh, sorry, I gotta call you later. What? Let me get back to work. Mm hmm. Oh, haha, <laughs> demons. Nico's just gonna chill in the car, it's okay, or van. Got an arm. You good? It's a prototype, and this is the perfect place to test it out. Look, you're gonna use it, and it's, it's a, a work, work of art. art. Gotcha. <laughs> and it ain't complete without you. Well, how sweet. Yeah. It's oh, you can still use it though. Turn on the music. Hey, I'm done. As soon as we get back. Hey! So, devil's cry, huh? Let's see what that sounds like! Devil May Cry 5! Oh my god, I can't believe I finished it! Holy crap! Are they gonna do the thing where you have to fight a bunch of enemies before the credits end or something like that? Yeah, they're gonna do it again. Alright. Nero's devil, devil trigger, hang on. 
Wait, uh... Ooh, that's so cool! Alright, let me see if I can fish all this. I'm gonna get my thoughts, though, at the end of this, uh, what I thought about... Um, Devil May Cry 5, compared to the other one, since I just completed them, uh, together, pretty much. I love it! But, um... I don't have... It's kind of hard to explain because it's just like... I love this game, I really do. And like, I didn't, I didn't think it was bad or anything, but I feel like the end is just like... It leaves me wanting more. Is that just me? I feel like it's not complete. Like, there's... It's an, on a cliffhanger, essentially. I'm not saying the game's not complete, but like... Sorry! Where is it? Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, there it is. Nope, it's gone again. Um, but yeah, it just feels like it's so incomplete be just because of Virgil and like Dante. And now that Virgil's back, it's like I wanted more from him. You know what I mean? We kind of got like a glimpse of like their past and whatever. So, that's good. But. It's not enough for me, at least, because I, I love the story aspect of the, any game, and I always want more. Um, did I do it? What happened? <laughs> oh, they closed it. Yep, they closed it. Guess that's the end then. For now. So all we gotta do is cut this thing down. Uh oh That's right. <laughs> I'm more than capable of handling this on my own. Yeah, okay. You're gonna need some help. And someone to keep an eye on you. Oh, good. Vines. Tentacles. Whatever you wanna call it. So... Oh my god, we're still going, okay. Fine by me. Let's give them what they want. Oh, this is so cool! We get to fight with um, uh, Virgil! Just like in the third game, which makes me really happy! Ow! Let me just try to get rid of all of these guys. Yes! You're doing good, Virgil! Thanks! Enemies are we facing? Jesus. Yes! Do your thing, Virgil. Don't just stand there. Uh, is that it? Anything else? Hey, Virgil. How are you today? Oh, there's more. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's the buff boys. Okay, we have you. Oh, there's another one. Hey! You beat me this time. Ow! Shit! What happened? Did I not do it? Oh, I didn't get to see the ending! I, I think I gotta redo that, just so I can see, like, what happens. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna kind of give my thoughts about it, and then I'll go back into it and whatever. Um, but... 
for this game, like I said, I do like the story. It's not like bad or anything, but I just I I, I know it's like a, a testament to like revamping the series because like there's a lot of mistakes in the timeline. At least from what I'm hearing from you guys in the comments, there's a lot of like different stuff that they've been changing ever since they announced five and stuff and is their way of like correcting the entire series which is fine you know a lot of other series have done that too it's not they're not the first one to do that but um in terms of like the story i liked it i just feel like with the with everything with virgil it seemed very obvious, which is why I was so conscious. Like I was so cautious of being like, is that actually Virgil or not? When we, uh, you know, saw him as Urizen, but like, it's just weird because there's still a lot of like unanswered questions about Virgil. Like, how did he get here? Who's Nero's mom? You know, and like other things in his past. But one thing that I did like the most was just, um, kind of you know, um, confirming what Virgil's purpose uh, was of saying, like, why he needs power and stuff like that, I felt really sad for him. Because, like, like I said, I understood why he's doing it because of what happened with the mom, but they added on top of that was just the fact that he was jealous also of Dante because the mom put him in the closet and he felt like, what about me? Like, how come mom didn't put me in a closet or something or come and get me? And I think he misunderstood the situation because it wasn't like the mom was picking Dante over Virgil. It just happened maybe that maybe Dante was just there and she saw him first. So she put him there and then went to go look for Virgil. But Virgil didn't see it that way, of course. And um, I like that Nero is not like his dad in terms of like, I need power because I need to protect the people that I love or else, you know, we're screwed. He, he understood the fact that like, Yes, it's okay to be stronger, but at the same time, don't let it consume you. Because, like, you'll end up in this, like, dumb rivalry with, like, something really stupid. Like, Virgil is trying to prove to the fact that he's the better brother, better than Dante, and I'm stronger, and, like, mom should have picked me, and stuff like that. The whole argument that he's been going on with his whole life. So, I, I appreciate they kind of, like, confirmed his, like, reason why. It just makes me really sad for Virgil, you know? I, I'm still sad about him, even... Uh, I was really sad about him in 3, just even so now, because it's just like, you, you know the reason why. And uh, in terms of characters, I like Nico. She's the new one. I, and I like V2, even though he's technically Virgil. But like, I liked him in sense of like, his um, mystique, his, the way that his gameplay was, and how he looks. But Nico is best girl. I think we can all agree that Miko is best girl because she's so funny and I love her. I, I think that one, one thing that really pissed me off about the characters was just not seeing Kirie. And I know a lot of people were just like, oh, we don't really like Kirie because DMC4 was kind of like different. They put the whole romance aspect. But I think it was good that they put the whole romance aspect because it kind of fits what Nero's character is, right? It just sucks because she's the only hero on the phone that's like, I'm like, what? I wanted to see her at least once in the scene, you know? That would have been cool. Cool if we just saw her um but as for everything i i like that we saw a flashback of the mom and stuff like that uh gameplay wise it's not that different from like four or three it's pretty similar it's just everything is more polished and i'm very proud of myself that i didn't go on like automatic that i actually tried to learn the you know combos and stuff like that as for the boss fights, I'm very glad that they didn't, like, do a complete repeat. There was a repeat at one part when we were as V, but I I'm okay with that because it wasn't, like, half the game. Let's fight the same bosses, like, in 4 with uh, Dante. But, like, I I'm glad they didn't do that, and I'm glad that we get to kind of see everyone's point of view with Nero, Dante, V. I thought that was really cool, too. I like it uh, when uh, games do that with multiple characters so you can kind of get the full story and stuff like that. So I appreciate Capcom for doing that and putting a lot of detail into this game as well. There is a lot of detail in this game uh, now that I think about it with like Nero's arms changing in, in cutscene and stuff like that the blood on them that doesn't go away automatically I really like it when game developers put that in their games because it means that they're paying real attention to it you know what I mean and the little things even when Dante was like out for a month his hair was a little bit longer and I thought that was really cool alright Devil May Cry a few weeks later July 24th pizza Wow, no sign of him. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah. Then can I have this office? Because I've been thinking it's almost time for me to settle down somewhere. Hmm. No, I don't uh, think so. I rather quite like it. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I hate to spoil your dreams, ladies, but that shit ain't gonna happen. What do you Why, mean, he's getting Morrison? evicted? See, there's this deed to this place, and I have it. Uh, why do you... Clever little devil came to see me right before his last job. Said something like, My dearest friend, I know you'll keep this safe because them crazy bitches... <laughs> <laughs> Did I say crazy bitches? I'm sorry, I meant ladies. Anyway, the rest of the story is not important. You get the gist. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he even plans on coming back. Got me. What is important is I have a job for you too. Okay, what? Oh, Could great, the, the lights went out. Free. Again. So I'm assuming Dante just left all his debt with them too. <laughs> they're still fighting? Oh, they're fighting each other now! These two are so stupid. Score for Dante. I'm up one. Oh my god. Where did you learn to count? Uh, We're even. Uh, you know, I'm starting to think this is never gonna end. Maybe. You got plenty of time. Oh my god. They're just gonna fight in eternity? Is that what they're gonna do? Then they'll take breaks by Don't fighting other enemies. <laughs> Don't you dare say it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Oh, I got an S rank. That's surprising. Oh dear. All right. So that's the end. Mission twenty. I just, I just. Oh my god. They're so stupid. Both of them. Dante and Virgil just gonna fight in hell. Essentially, is that what they're gonna do, right? Alright guys, well that's the end of my Let's Play for Devil May Cry 5. I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts, like what you guys thought about the game itself, uh, especially the people who have been following the series for a very long time. I would like to know what you guys think. Since I'm a new fan, I don't have like, you know, like a whole like, how do I say this? Um, grip on the series just because I've only been following it recently but I would like to know what everyone else thinks about uh, the ending especially like did you think it was satisfying because I feel like it was like you know leaving me for more like it's not complete I don't know I guess it's like a hint if they're gonna do something again with Devil May Cry 6 maybe I don't know because it didn't take care of the problem of like Virgil and Dante stopping from fighting each other but it did kind of show that Nero would be taking over and I think that was very evident since 4 everyone kind of saw that coming and him having to unlock his own demon powers without the Yamato uh, leaves it open ended for like his own story but like with Dante and Virgil it's not not complete obviously they're just fighting in the demon world non-stop and I don't think that's like a conclusion to the story it doesn't feel like it to me at least um anyway yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough thank you so much for watching and uh I hope you guys will be here for whatever next time uh, yeah, I play on the channel but yeah thank you guys so much for watching remember to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next let's play series and uh, if you for whatever reason want to see my other devil may cry let's plays if you haven't yet I'll leave a link in the description as well anyway I'll see you guys in the next one bye Telltale's The Walking Dead, the final season, or season 4, has left me thinking about a lot of things about where Clementine's story will be heading. With the large amounts of foreshadowing following Clement or to develop another character, video game deaths can be tragic. Here are 6 sad character deaths from video games. Roman, Grand Theft Auto 4, 